So hi dear students and welcome to my <coughs> tutorial. In our today's tutorial, I'll be explaining to you about the NIOS data entry practical tutorials, which is actually called as per your system as DEO. And you have a code of 229 and the second one as 336. The 336 code is used for the senior secondary grade, whereas the 229 is used for the secondary, grade 10 and grade 12. Many students have requested me from different parts of the world that they require me to prepare the data entry practical tutorials. However, I'll try to do my best in order to help you out because make sure that your exam, it consists of complete MS office only. You won't be asked about internet lesson or any other type of lessons in these cases. And what I'll be doing is in the description box below, I'll be giving you a website where you can download the PDF files which contains all the practical manual for grade 10 and for grade 12 with a secondary and senior secondary. This can work as a guide for you people so that you people can uh, download them and use and practice at home on a desktop or on the laptop computer, wherever you require so that you can thorough yourself for the exam. Besides that, you can follow my tutorial and maybe it will be one or two videos where it will help you out for a complete Microsoft Office which includes only Word, Excel and PowerPoint. So let's come forward and start uh, looking at the video tutorial how to prepare your practical and get the highest marks which is going to be out of 60. So as you can see over here, this is a document of data entry practical exam number one. This was conducted by me for the grade 10 and the grade 12 students. Question number one. Type the information. Do not forget to mention the date and heading. Use Cosmic Sans as font and type using 14 size. So basically in Microsoft Word, you can get the question that is to change the font size, including the font type. You will also be asked to change the color using this screen. For example, you can highlight or select the whole document and then choose the color you require from the taskbar given over here. same time you might be also asked to change the size which is from 12 at the moment you can change it to 14 or more 20 depending upon what your teacher or the examination paper contains now question number two you have to create the same following table using the help of microsoft office or microsoft, uh, microsoft word or excel this can be done by going to insert table and then you can choose your table over here. Yeah. So you can choose the table over here, as many as you want. Or if you don't want these tables, you can simply choose um, draw table. By doing draw table, you can also make it by your pencil as such. And to save more time, the second thing what you can do is, again go to insert table and choose insert table. In insert table you can choose the number of columns that you require and at the same time the number of rows. So if I chose five rows and two columns you can see two columns and five rows of each are present over here. And then you can type, choose the heading, whatever it is. You can move this side or in between or from the left side whatever you want to do. You can highlight if you wish to and at the same time <coughs> Secondly, you need to prepare a pie chart. Okay, for the pie chart, you can go to Microsoft Excel. So, I'll take you to the Microsoft Excel. First of all, to open Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, you can just simply click. Start all programs and find Microsoft Office and choose from here this is the Excel this is the PowerPoint or this is the Word or you can type right click on the desktop and choose new and go to Microsoft Word you can also create folders by using right click and then new and choosing a folder from the folder you can rename okay and by mistake if you have saved the wrong name then you can right click on the same folder delete it rename copy paste whatever you want you can do so we can rename it again by typing it as folder 1 and enter in this folder I would like to have a Microsoft Excel file so I'll go to Microsoft Excel by choosing right click again and Microsoft Excel rename it as pie chart 
so you can just right click and pie chart to choose the pie chart you can go to insert and then you can see here there is already chart pie chart since I'm using 2007 it is more easy because that is the curriculum part for you uh, before that what I can do is I can also make a chart using the help of but for that you need to have first over here all the details onto which you can make the chart if you don't have these ones then what you can do is go to Microsoft Word and prepare the chart there itself let me show you the example how by deleting the folder you just press the delete button or right click on a particular thing and then you can choose delete go to the recycle bin you can restore to get it back or you can empty the recycle bin to completely delete the folder going back to the Microsoft Word file which I had before data entry practical exam if this is my students mark I can take the students name including the marks and the subjects that they have got highlight it and then go to insert choose the chart in chart I can choose pie chart or column chart let us choose column chart which is already highlighted here and press ok as you can see here the chart is already prepared and here are the series you can change the category by putting the students name over here or you can go here copy that and then you can say also chart and put in the details in here that chart you can see and then you can close this because this is an additional pop-up that has been created for Microsoft Word Excel because since you are preparing a chart for Microsoft Word as you can see here this is the name of the student Sindhu, Duruva, Safina and Mao and these are their marks which have been given in forms of a graph here. Similarly, you can do the same thing for a pie chart by typing all the system again and after typing it, choosing these percentages and doing the pie chart. This is the basics of Microsoft Word that you have to do in order to first of all change the font, change font size, bold, italic, underline, color scheme or highlighting, moving the text in between or etc. whatever you say and then choosing the page insert in insert you can put a clip art or shape or etc whatever you want to draw you can do that okay after you have chosen how to use the picture we can then also put a clip art clip art is for example you press the clip art and then you have a go button you will press the go and then you can choose any of the pictures over here for example if I need a car picture I can just click on it and it comes here and then close this and then here then this one is here like that okay you can adjust the size and so on these are the scroll bars for up and down and then left to right and also you can increase the magnification or the zoom in from using this one okay then um, the next thing that you can do is also you can give an effect to the picture by using from here whether you want the circle or you need this this borders etc there choose the brightness and the contrast for this picture etc uh, now coming back after the picture that is in the page insert again uh, the chart as I told you before you can also use a word art or text box text box is just a box in which you can simply use the design to type some equations or symbol of mathematical calculations as such or equations as this <coughs> the next thing that you can do is add a heading or footer header or footer like for example header is used to put your company's logo or something on the top and footer is to write the numbers or page number etc in the down so you can choose that as well and if you don't want that then you can simply choose a page number at the top of the page bottom of the page middle of the page etc this is the complete Microsoft of Word that you people should know this is like choosing columns or also using page setup page setup usually I use a top 0 0.5 and bottom 0 0.5 because I'm comfortable with it and um, mailing okay in the review section which is one more important part we don't take that much of a view in the review section we have something called as ABC and spelling and grammar where the grammatical checking is done and finally you can go in the home and in the home you have save as printing option when you go to print preview you can see how the printing system will look like you can just use your arrow to go up and down this is how it is going to look like in the print preview and if you go to print directly then you can also press ctrl p and this is the printer name number of copies all or current pages page number etc and you can choose ok ex whatever that is and if you want you can also choose number of pages on a per sheet like, like uh, five sheets on one page 
final and the last thing which is save you can just simply save or you can choose save as in save as you can choose your olden format if you want to change it in that format or also you can just click on that in order to put a password we, for putting a password you have to go to tools save option no general option password to open password to modify password to open is whenever you switch on a comp uh, your any file which is from the desktop for example let's say this this is your file for if you want to open this before opening is going to ask you for a password and password to modify means it will open like a normal screen as such but uh, when you want to make any editing here you can easily make the editing but during the time of editing they will ask you the password after saving that once you save the button it will ask you for the permission to save that is by putting the password so that you cannot make any editing in that this is finally all the Microsoft Word that you have to know for your practical. If you have any doubts, you can please leave below in the description or comment box and ask me for it. Soon I'll be uploading the video for Microsoft Excel. Thank you.